Why, hello one and all, and upon viewing this video, chances are you have three different questions. Number one, why is there a part 14, or whatever part it is, of Trespasser Advance when you actually already finished the game, Trespasser Advance series, so why is there another one? Number two, why is this in 1080p when Trespasser cannot even run at 1080p? or anything close to that, even with ATX, and three, why am I sideways? And number four, why is it snowing? Yes, it is snowing. Well, I, I was sideways because I died, and then I used to cheat via ATX to restore my health, and I stayed sideways after I died. And what's funny is you could actually still move around after that, and then another thing you might be noticing is the field of view change, like around the edges of the screen, things warp and stretch and just looks rather awkward and also it makes me look like I'm moving much faster. And things look much farther away than they really are. And now to answer the first question, what, why is there a part 14 or whatever of Trespasser Advance, and the answer to that question is just so I can show off many of ATX's features, and then you may also wonder where the T-Rex is, he's actually way back there, he's dead. Yeah, look how my look how long my arm is. Hey, what are you doing? But yes, this is, for, this is part 14 of Trespasser Advance. Trespasser Advance that I'm going to show off a lot of the things I did not show off in my actual playthrough, things I actually could have showed off despite my laziness. And the first things you may see is that there's actually a time in the upper left corner as well as the frames per second. And then on the map there's also a whole bunch of red dots which signify the locations of dinosaurs and apparently the Triceratops is following me. I can see him on the map. And the green dots is my path. It's like a... It shows you where you've been. And sure enough, the Triceratops is coming towards me. Apparently very fast. He's charging. Now this reminds me of 3D Hunting Grizzly. Where the bears just charge at you in a straight line. It's actually quite scary. Ominous. He's angry. Rah. Okay, well, to show off some of ATX's cheats, first of all, I'm gonna do C Dino. I always manage to spell wrong somehow, one way or another. And then I'm gonna do Cannibal, which shows off his health and such. And then I'm gonna do something that has not been seen before, and that is Follow Dino. And I cannot move in this position, however, the camera is focused on the Triceratops and it will follow him around, as you can see. So you could do this like to pretend you're, you are the dinosaur or something quite awkward like that. And also the render distance changes with the dinosaur as well, and not and, so it would actually be pretty cool. But let's turn that off, see, follow Dino, follow Dino, there we go, now let's run away from the thing that is about to kill us, and in order to kill him, we're gonna kill him. Yes, we just killed him, but how does that happen? I will not reveal my secrets. No, I will not. Feels full. Oh, and the Woo Cheat actually works now in ATX. Infinite ammo, and why isn't the HUD showing up when it's supposed to? Okay, and then, to show off another thing I did in my Trespasser Advanced series, is that I'm actually going to load a new level directly from in-game. So let's type in load test Scene Night I, dot S E N. I believe that is its name. Oh no, I spelled it wrong. Is it Tess? I'll just do the ordinary. No, 
Yeah, I am a big idiot. I I seriously am. There we go. And it's still snowing, and I still have the same dinosaur selected somehow. Or no, I don't. Wow. Turn the map on. Oh, there is no map, so it can't show up. But hey, there's a raptor that's now right th there. Teleported. Whoa! Matrix effect and the dinosaur jumped an abnormally high location. Oh, there he goes. Jumping dinos. Wow. Woohoo! I can't get over how funny that is. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, he attacked from above. Now he's eating me. Oh, I'm still alive. No, how am I still alive? And why am I falling over? Oh dear. This cannot what end well. Here? This cannot end well. Oh no. Oh dear. I'm, I'm tilting. Look at that. Ah, oh, that, that's just nasty. Yeah, I, I'm apparently dead, but I can fly and then fly tele, and I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm back from the dead. What happened here? Also, something that I never really showed at all. And there, let's get all this FPS time stuff out of the way, so we have a clear view of what's going on. And why is he still eating me? Look at that, he's eating a living person. Oh, that's... Oh. He's eating me alive. That's very awkward. You know what, can I kill you? Yes, I can. Just like that. Okay, now, what was I going to show off? He interrupted me. Well, oh yes. Something I always did, but I never really showed or told you how to do it, is to make a nice and easy quick save, and if you press F9 during your game, it saves it, and then you can go to load. ATX quick save, there it is right there, and it's just a nice easy feature, so you don't have to go actually into the menu there all the time. Now what's something else I can show? Oh, yes, of course. All right, this. All right, I remember. See this head right here? Okay, first we're gonna... Okay, let's take this head. We're gonna place that head right there. All right? You get that? Yes, the head is right there. I'm pretty sure that's clearly identifiable. Okay, now we're gonna shoot it. Well, we're actually not gonna shoot it, but we're gonna aim at it. All right? Now we're aiming at it. Okay. Now we're gonna type in aim... Yes. And then we're going to type in object aim. There we go. And now we're going to type in object F. And I thought that was... Er... Huh, I thought that was supposed to do something. Ah. Uh, what does this object do? Oh, okay. That's, that t toggles off. On and off the properties. Oh, it does bleed. I never knew that. Oh, that's nasty. Gordy. I never knew that it actually bled. Alright, let's respawn this guy. Hello. Are you gonna keep eating me? Yeah. Oh, he jumps. Whoa. Oh, dear. Ah, uh -uh. he's he's jumpy. He's excited. Wah! And that that raptor right there is an example of what you can do with ATX's jumping dinos. You can actually modify the settings. So I made it. He jumped at a powerful, perfect ninety here? degrees. So it's very awkward. Now let's kill this. Oh, let's shock him. Let's cause him pain. Oh dear. Throw it. 
throw it. Ugh. I hit him. But it didn't seem to do anything. Well, there he goes again. Here, let's 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 try to kill him in midair. That would be epic. Jump. Oh, I missed. Oh, I hit him. Wow. And then the blood splat just instantly appeared on the ground. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't get the aim on him. He jumps again. Ah. Oh. I hit him. Jump. Jump, my man. You gotta jump. It's the right thing to do. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. I don't care anymore, I just want him dead. Oh, hit him in the head. Oh, that didn't kill him, what? There we go, he's dead, at last. Even though I could have just used the AI hacks to do it. But well everyone, thank you for watching. This has been part 14, or whatever part it is, I really Feels can't bother hell. to remember. Oh, Trespasser Advance, thank you for watching, and see you all next time.